What's up, gang? Case here with our NGEM Metcon for Saturday, October 24th. A partner workout today, longer chip, chipper style wad. Um, one partner working at a time. You can split the work uh, as needed, but you have to stay in order. So start with a one mile run. Then you've got um, 90 wall balls, 80 toe to bar, 70 box jumps, 60 push ups, and then you're finishing up with a one mile run. On the runs, I think it's a bit of a toss up on how to split those up. Um, 200 is gonna keep your pace uh, faster, but um, it's not gonna give you as much opportunity to rest. So it's gonna give you some muscular rest, but not a lot of time to catch your breath and bring heart rate down. Uh, 400s um, is gonna bring your pace down a bit, but it's gonna give you more opportunity to recover and potentially keep you stronger later in this workout. Moving on to the wall balls. I would recommend splitting those into roughly tens today. There's so many reps there that if you're going fives, it's gonna be a ton of transitions. That's gonna take a lot of time. Um, so pick a weight, pick a height. It's gonna keep you somewhere around that 10 range. Don't go for big sets. Uh, one, just to keep your heart rate down. And two, bigger sets tend to lead to more soreness. So if you can split these into some smaller or at least more reasonable sets today, it's gonna keep you uh, feeling fresher coming into next week. Um, just talking about some wall ball mechanics and things that we typically see on these that you might want to watch out for. So um, on that wall ball, the squat, the beginning piece is probably the most important part. If you're in a bad position in that squat, it's going to screw up all the power that you're going to have on that throw. Some common flaws that we see here, uh, a lot of folks will let that chest or even that ball drop when they come to the bottom. Now I'm having to get that ball up into a throwing position, so I'm using extra motion that I really don't need. Keep that ball up closer to the chin. That's also going to help you keep your chest high. And then from there, you've got a good platform from which to throw. Might be a little bit harder for you to achieve that position in the bottom, at least starting out. But if you'll keep working on it, it'll feel more comfortable and it will lead to more efficient reps over time. Two more things on wall balls. One, get that hip crease below the knee if you have the ability. When we warm up goblet squats with the balls in class, people always tend to look really good on squats. And then when we go into the wall ball, those squats start getting higher and higher. So take your time, get down to what is a full range of motion for you, and then get everything you can out of your leg before you throw that ball. Last piece on wall balls, try to come up with a consistent breathing pattern. On those, I actually like to breathe out as the ball is coming down. So when the ball hits me, and then I breathe in as I throw and come up. A little bit backwards from how we breathe on a lot of other movements. Um, so big thing there is just have a consistent in or out, find the rhythm there, and that'll help you maintain that breath, maintain that heart rate. From there, you've got 80 toes to bar. I'm gonna recommend smaller sets on those toe to bar, roughly five for a couple reasons. One, those toe to bar tend to burn out pretty quickly, a little bit higher, a bigger, higher skill gymnastics movement. And two, you need to save your grip for those pull-ups that are coming up later in the workout. One tip I'll give you guys on toe to bar, in that bottom position, big flaw I see is people let their feet either come apart or they let that knee bend back. We lose power when we break and bend here. If you'll think about keeping your toes together and reaching for the ground behind you when you're in that backward C position, that length is what creates tension and that tension is what gives you power to snap back with. So on toe to bar today, toes together, reaching for the ground long behind you uh, in that backward C position. Moving on to 70 box jumps, uh, 24 prescribed height for guys, 20 for ladies. Box jumps, I'm gonna recommend splitting those into roughly tens. That's gonna give you or your partner um, uh, a little bit of time to rest. If you go shorter with fives, you're not gonna get much rest between those box jumps. Um, just a couple reminders here. We want our hips landing above our knees on all those jumps. So if that box is so high for you that when you land, your hips are landing below your knees, that tells you one, either try to jump higher or two, bring that box down just a bit. 
Other thing to talk about here is no wasted motion, especially on these longer workouts. People will step down from the box, shuffle the, their feet, pump their arms a couple times and jump. Try to come up with a rhythm that's gonna allow you to plant, load, fire right back up. It should be a single swing of the arms when you come to the top. Always stand up to full extension before you come down. Step down as well. Jumping backwards off that box a bunch can be problematic for your Achilles. Finishing with 60 pull-ups. Um, pull-ups, smaller sets, those burn out quickly. Um, if you're not doing kipping pull-ups today, uh, recommend box pull or jumping pull-ups or ring rows just because you don't want to take as much time getting in and out of that band. And also high rep pull-ups, the intention of this workout is just to keep the heart rate up um, so we don't really want to slow it down with a lot of banded pull-ups today. Save your hands on those today. Absolutely no rips. We're coming into a base week, so we want hands, everything feeling good uh, when we kick off next week. Finishing up with that one mile run, I'd um, maybe split that different. Uh, if you did 400s that first time and you're feeling more fatigued at the end, maybe you guys split that last run into 200s, keeps those efforts a little shorter, might keep your intensity up a bit higher keep your pace a bit higher. Plus, there's really no transition time on that run. As soon as your partner gets back, you're taking off from there. Good luck on this workout. Have fun, get some intensity, but keep things into reasonable sets. And when it's your time to rest, rest think about that breathing in through the nose, out through the straw, try to relax. You do that over the course of a long workout like this, and it will lead to um, quite a bit more recovery throughout. Good luck, and we'll see you guys back on Monday.